Hi there, thanks for joining me. So today I'd like to do a vlog and another unboxing. Um, I'm definitely getting into collecting miniatures a little bit here. Um, obviously getting back into painting miniatures. I hope you guys checked out my previous painting video. Uh, I'm definitely going to do, be doing some more painting here over the next several days and I'll probably have some more video content on that you know, at some point. But uh, today I want to talk about kind of how and when I got started and um, specifically kind of the orcs and goblins and stuff that I um, have enjoyed and some more that I've gotten just recently. So, um, you know, originally I wasn't that interested in playing orcs, but I just really liked how they looked. Um, I think technically the first miniature I painted, at least that I have, um, is this guy here. And, you know, he is obviously an orc. Um, these are old. They're metal, and they're from probably like 1989 or so. That's around when I got started. Um, I did some research, and because I wanted to kind of know where these specific models came from. And, you know, looking up some old Citadel catalogs from 1989, 1990, 1988, uh, in that range, um, I definitely see these models. Um, I, the commonality, I think, between the ones that I like, right, are that they are sculpted by Kev Adams. Now, um, you know, some of these appeared on the combat cards from, um, you know, it was like Citadel combat cards, just like a little, uh, f you know, simple to play card game that you could play. And my buddy definitely had some of those um, when we were in junior high school and we used to play that. Uh, and it had really nicely painted uh, pictures of all, you know, a whole bunch of citadels and games workshops like miniature line right so um so that was a lot of fun and, and that probably introduced me to like how some of these looked and this is really what i think of when i think of of orcs and it's kind of you know the first uh painting experience i got i feel like it tells a little bit of a story you know as you go through here um you know definitely i have um kind of an evolving like paint style. Um, at the time, of course, these shields were an excuse to do some like fun freehand, you know, painting. I did this kind of like really derpy looking um, skull here on here. Um, but you know, of course, you had the green bases with the the green grass, and that was just kind of like how that was how the official Games Workshop uh, paint jobs were. Um, and you know, and as you go through, I feel like my paint jobs got progressively better and better. Uh, I think I started off using like tester enamels, um, you know, basically like you would use for uh, model cars and things like that. And I kind of graduated to like Citadel's um, acrylic paints and stuff. And you know, like within the matter of a handful of minis, um, you know, I feel like these these two orcs here in particular, I think they're pretty cool. Like I still sort of use them as a standard for how my miniatures look now and or at least something to compare them to and these are you know paint jobs that are 30 years old right <laughs> easily so you know i've been wanting to get more orcs um i definitely want to do some fantasy like kind of solo um dungeon crawling and what i ended up picking up is uh, a set of actually these are goblins um kev adams goblins goblins and orcs um, so these are by Impact Miniatures. Now I don't know specifically uh, what the story is on these, but I think that these are actually old sculpts that Kev Adams did for Heartbreaker Miniatures, I want to say. So these look really, really cool. Uh, I'm really excited about these. Um, I think what's nice about his stuff, it just, you know, has his personality, I think, uh, to them. But they're, they're hand sculpted. Um, I'm assuming that he uses, you know, green stuff or some sort of um, small sort of clay or modeling compound or something to, to make this stuff. And these specifically, I believe, um, I read that they are s probably spin resin, uh, like resin spin cast. But this comes with slotted bases, which is great. And um, I actually, uh, I'll, I'll link another video here where, um, you know, the guy was, had basically gotten these exact same models, and he was saying, like, hey, you're going to want to be careful. They are a little fragile, but they're, they're, um, 
they're firm, right? They're hard. They're kind of like, they're very plasticky, which is nice. Um, but I think they're just maybe just a touch more fragile than your regular uh, plastic. Now they do have just a little bit of um, kind of supports on them. I don't think supports in like the 3D model sense, but more in like the old metal miniature sense. So um, I'm going to want to, you know, clip those off. But anyway, so this, this other guy who got these, he was saying you just want to be careful pushing them into the bases. Um, they are going to, uh, you know, uh, break like the legs or something like that. If you're a little too forceful, so you might need to just file down whatever you call them, whatever these are that fits in, fit in the slots there. Uh, you might just want to file that down a little bit and uh, you're going to be good. So what's great about this is this is a huge army. It's like, I want to say like 30, it's 30 something miniatures. I'll, I'll go ahead and, and, you know, put up specifically. Um, there's a range of sizes, you know, you can see this dude almost looks like more like an orc than a, than a goblin. Um, but, you know, this Impact Miniatures, they also have a set of, uh, of orcs, uh, specifically from Kev, Kev Adams. So I'm definitely going to get the orc set if these ones work out. And, um, he also, I think there's a split set where it's like he sculpted some demons, and then there's some, some rat men, uh, sculpted by someone else, and I forget exactly who... But they actually are quite nice, and I am starting to collect Skaven a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that up too, I think. Anyway, so like the, the great thing about this is it was cheap. This was like 35 bucks or something, I mean maybe 40 bucks with shipping or something like that, um, for, for just about as many models. So these are like, you know, around a dollar each, which is an amazing deal for, um, you know, what seemed to be like high quality minis. Um, and, and definitely, like, these are the sculpts that I prefer, right? Uh, I feel like a lot of orcs these days, you know, they're taking inspiration from different places. They're taking, oops, uh, inspiration from World of Warcraft and Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. And those are fine, right? You know, or goblins, um, you know, green skins in general. And, um, but I just, I just love these, right? I love the personality that these have. I just love the look of them. Um, you know, I don't know if I'm like 100% a Kev Adams snob, but, but basically that's, that's where I am right now. That's the, um, the unifying theme with all of the old games workshop works, uh, and goblins and, and such that I like are the, they're the ones that he sculpted and, uh, they are just incredible. Uh, I'm really excited about these. So, you know, you guys, um, if you've been watching this channel at all, know I have tons of miniatures to paint. So I am excited about these speed paints that I have. Um, I am going to be trying to kind of blow through some minis and really just, um, you know, see if I, if, like, if I have free time to paint miniatures, if I can get maybe two, two a pop done uh, to a standard that I'm pleased with, uh, and then, you know, just sort of be able to repeat that process. Oh, okay, look, it looks, uh, I, something might have broken off of something. In fact, I was just, like, seeing this guy sort of looks like he's missing a, a thing, <laughs> so I don't know if that is from here, or if it's, uh, what, you know, if it's broken, or if it's just, um, something that goes you know, separately on something else, but, um, these are a little, a little fragile, uh, is what I've heard, um, but I think that they're really quite nice, and I, and I kind of like the finish, you know, better than the, like, 3D printed resin, I haven't really had a chance to paint any of my 3D printed resin stuff yet, you know, we'll see once I get those primed and painted, uh, how I feel about them, but I don't really have any qualms about this, um, the other guy who got a set of these was saying that, you know, the, he was a little concerned about, uh, primer paint sticking to this resin. Uh, I don't know, you know, exactly where those fears come from, if that was experiential or just something they read. Uh, personally, I'm going to try some of the, uh, Vallejo, like, white brush-on surface primer here that I have, 
and just gonna I'm just gonna see like probably through my airbrush and see how that goes. I'll probably test prime one of these minis, test paint one of these minis, see if it goes okay. Um, I may go ahead and, and wash these all with uh, you know some simple green or something before I actually uh, prime them. But uh, you know we'll see. I don't know that a lot of prep is necessary for this or not. Uh, even you know from the you know, perspective of mold lines and things like that, I'll have to take a closer look. Obviously, it will, you know, clip some of these things. Um, of course, you know, I do have, um, you know, a couple old metal orcs, too, that I haven't painted yet. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, I'm kind of doing some test painting on this guy. And uh, I may have one or two others, but this may be kind of like one of my last, you know, real sort of metal orcs that I have from this kind of these sets. And these, I think, were uh, orc champions. Um, I don't know for sure about, like, this dude. He might even be a goblin. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I just thought I would share that with you guys. Um, I hope that you in, are looking forward to seeing me get these painted up. I hope that you'll join me again for some, uh, you know, miniature painting and assembling and just reminiscing videos, okay? Uh, thank you very much for watching. Catch you next time.